Ryan Anthony Duke stands accused of murder, concealing the body of Tara Grinstead, a popular history teacher at Irwin County High School in Osceola, Georgia, where Ryan had been a student. Duke initially confessed to killing Tara, a former pageant contestant and cheerleading coach, in an interview with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. But he would later insist, after meeting with defense counsel, that the initial confession was only made because he was afraid of someone who he alleged was the real killer. Tara Turner's lives here in Zilla, 300 Watt Street, in the last day of her life. She spent the majority of the day helping others get ready for the Sweet and Save Festival hat that is coming out. Heather says Tara Grinstead is like a sister, mentoring her through beauty pageants, a bridesmaid in her wedding. And this was hard doing my makeup. <laughs> she always did. And I'll tell you the Tara didn't show you up for work. We don't know how much. She doesn't show up for work. The people start calling her and seeing if someone may know where she is. This is not the kind of person she was. All right, in a line. Over the past two weeks, search parties have combed the county, finding discarded clothing, including a T-shirt, similar to one Tara's family says she owned. Without more clues, the sheriff plans to halt the large ground search Tuesday. Are you any closer to knowing where she is at? No, we're not. Not any closer. The Tara Grinstead case had lasted uh, more than a decade. But then you knew something was different in February 2017. A few days ago, an individual came forward and reported that they had information in the terrorist disappearance. Enough probable cause was discovered so we could swear out an arrest warrant charging Ryan Alexander Duke. This was a homegrown boy who grew up and was still living right in their community. Many people in that community were shocked that it had been kept a secret for that long, and it was one of their own who had allegedly committed that murder. Ryan Duke's arrest was triggered by an interview with Bo Dukes, an old high school friend. The two had similar names, but were not related. There had been a podcast originated out of Atlanta focusing on this case. That, in turn, started shaking things up behind the scenes. Bo Dukes, I believe, was, was feeling like the water was getting hot around him. You know, they were hot on his trail. And so I think he came forward first. First person to come forward and give a story is the story that law enforcement very often believes. Bo Dukes, in a videotaped interview, said Ryan woke him on the Sunday before Tara Grinstead went missing. Bo said Ryan confessed to killing Tara, but never explained why. Ryan woke me up told me that he had killed Terry Grinstead. Bo says it didn't end with the murder of a history teacher. He said Ryan took him to a pecan orchard owned by Bo's family. Together, they burned Tara's body into ash and bone, in effect, cremating her. And he asked me to help him get rid of her body, and I agreed. And moved her body to the, the wooded area, and it's so over a period of like two days. Arrested shortly after Ryan in 2017 and charged with helping conceal Tara Grinstead's body, Bo Dukes was tried in 2019 and given a 25 year prison sentence. Ryan Dukes' trial was delayed by five years of legal wrangling. It would finally take place at the Osceola Courthouse, only blocks from Tara's home in 2022. And now Ryan retracts, or at least revises, the initial confession he'd given in custody. Ryan Duke did not commit the crimes that he is charged with committing in Irwin County. But there is no pressure in the world as great as believing that your client is innocent and having to go to trial with them. He did not murder Ms. Grinstead. He did not assault Ms. Grinstead. He did not burglarize Ms. Grinstead. He did not conceal her death in Irwin County. He did none of the things that he's indicted for. The first indication anybody had that something might be wrong with Tara Grinstead is uh, Sunday, October 23rd. Her family 
trying to call her. She wasn't answering any phone calls. She didn't show up at church. Do you have a clear memory of waking up that morning? Uh, Bo woke me up. When you opened your eyes and saw Bo, what do you recall? What, how did he look? He looked panicked, uh, freaked out, shaking almost, just, you know, so you tell something was wrong. What did Bo Duke say to you when he woke you up that morning? He said he killed Tara. Ryan gets up and specifically fingers Bo as the murderer. At this point, what was your response? What did you, did you ask him any questions about? I told him I didn't believe him, you know? Did he do or say anything in response to that? Well, there was a purse sitting on the table. Uh, he got out a wallet that had Miss Grinstead's driver's license in it. Did you move away? I moved back home with my parents. Why did you move back home? I had lost my job. Uh, I couldn't pass a drug test, and that had come up. What drugs were you doing at this point? I uh, was drinking, taking pills, anything I'd get my hand on. In the decade or so after Miss Grinstead went missing, Ryan Duke really went into a deep depression. He was self-medicating with drugs, alcohol. He wasn't able to work. He sort of became a recluse. And all of this was related to his role in Miss Grinstead's homicide. Once you moved out of the house with Bo, when was the next time that you saw him? Several years later. Were you afraid of Bo? Yes, sir. Why? When I said he had killed somebody, it was not reason enough to be scared of somebody. Bo visited you. Did the two of you discuss Miss Green's death during this visit? No, sir. Did he make any kind of threats? He implied that this place would go up like wildfire, but it's kindling. And when he said this place, did he indicate what he was talking about? He was talking about my home. How did your experience involving Miss Grinstead's body impact you? I think it ruined me. Did you have nightmares about it? I still do. As Ryan Duke's trial comes to a close, the question for jurors will be, was he the killer of Tara Grinstead or just an unwitting accomplice after the fact. He's taken the stand and retracted the confession that he gave to police, now saying he was scared of the man he claims was Tara's real killer, Bo Dukes. Will the jury believe it, or at least believe it enough to have reasonable doubt? Mr. Foreman, I understand from the bailiff the jury has reached its verdict in this case. Is that correct? Thank you. In the Superior Court of Irwin County, Georgia, in the indictment 2017, State of Georgia versus Ryan Alexander Duke, we, the jury, find the defendant count one, malice murder, not guilty. Count two, felony murder, not guilty. Count three, felony murder, not guilty. Count four, aggravated assault, not guilty. Count five, burglary, not guilty. Count six, concealing death of another, guilty. It's clear he was burdened by the secrets that he carried. Think that it was very important for him to have that cathartic experience of testifying and testifying in what I appear to, to believe is, is a truthful manner. This wasn't a case of a mysterious whodunit. Um, Ryan was saying he knew who did it. For Ryan's story to hold up, the jurors had to believe that Bo Dukes was the killer. To me, they've both done enough that warrants plenty of prison time. I just pray that she went quick, and I just hope that she just didn't suffer. Ryan Duke was sentenced to the maximum 10 years for concealing the death of Tara Grinstead in Irwin County. Ryan was denied parole by the Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles. His anticipated release date is February 12, 2027. Since Ryan's trial, no one's been charged or convicted for the murder of Tara Grinstead.